What is going on guys, the Gaming Ram here, and welcome back to Beeman G Drive. And today, we're back, and as you guys can see right here in front of us, we have the GMC Sierra. And this truck has some new wheels, we got some new wheels and tires for it, so, um, this, hold on, let me get a better position here, because this, I think it looks better over here. I think it looks a lot better. It does uh, improve the look of the truck. I'll have to say it gives it a more meaner, aggressive. Uh, she definitely have a lot more offset now. So these tires do stick out here quite a bit. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think these are 22 by 16s, if I'm not mistaken. So a much more beefier tire overall uh, for the truck. Overall, just the appearance of the, the you know, the truck, everything, it it complements the look and that's what i like but we also did a little bit of changing around with the truck the engine the exhaust we did all the the whole oh let's fire it up so here's the look it does look way better going down the road it looks it looks like it belongs. It's a very mean Sierra, that's for sure. It does have nitrous, so it does have that nice bottle of nitrous in the truck. So, say quick detour, <laughs> quick detour through the grass here, uh, which we can the nitrous, and you can hear that nitrous being armed. But now the nitrous is armed. Uh, we're gonna give oh hold on i forgot the boost gauge i forgot to tell you uh the truck is now supercharged that is right so it is now running a supercharger we're gonna ease into it and hammer down Woo! it's a little bumpy the truck is very bumpy very bumpy ride. We've got a nice solid uh, suspension in the back. Uh, it's not, not, it's it's more of a race suspension than anything else. So this truck will bounce. So that truck, it pushes out about 9.1 pounds of boot, which is pretty good for a supercharger. The engine is built just a smidge. Nothing's crazy. Um, so but it doesn't really have stock internals on the engine. It has a little bit of upgrade towards it, a little bit of modifications. We don't have a turn radius. We got a turn radius of a garbage truck. It's terrible, but the supercharger is our intake. Um, the engine has been built to a stage one. So uh, I would say that this truck probably pushes out probably or either around 450, maybe 500 horsepower on a good day but because of the powertrain loss um you're gonna that number is not gonna be exactly 600 i'll say a little bit more towards maybe 550 uh like i say 550 on a good day is like that's pretty good with nitrous you know it it the nitrous buttons up any power loss which i do have to say is what you're gonna need if you're gonna be running something like this But there you go. Now, the the transmission has not been built. We got wheel. This road is terrible. Oh, my goodness. This is a terrible road. But um, the truck does get wheel hop, which is kind of crazy. Well, not really. Most trucks in general, if you put power to it, you will have wheel hop. Just because of the back of the bed is just so light, it's basically it's hard to get traction um but as you can see it's very hard to get and keep it uh together here i'm gonna have to put that gas down here to get out of that power slide it there you go basically make it pretty hard to turn at a fat like if you're going fast if you're just cruising around you can turn but that's boring 
Who the heck wants to cruise? That's... No. We're gonna be doing this, my... Now, the truck does have a different power steering system. Uh, it has a quick ratio power steering, uh, which gives it the advantage of being able to turn quickly. 